There's a real possibility we could lose our church building. The owners are applying pressure to sell it and there has been outside interest. As we face this challenge, we'd love your prayers and your support. Over the years, God has been leading our church through this incredible journey, providing for us and protecting us along the way. Even before we started this church planting adventure in Chicago, we've always had a very strong sense that nothing is more important than responding to God's call. Our call is to reach one of the greatest cities for Jesus. And God loves the people of Chicago. And even though it means facing significant hurdles, we are honored to have this call. And in a world that's constantly changing and in a transient city, we want to put a stake in the ground and build something stable and lasting for God's glory. And in many ways, it feels like we are on the front lines of the battle between the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. It also feels like we're right in the middle of our story, a story with a dramatic plot line, a story with an approaching cliffhanger, uh, like the Israelites up against the Red Sea and Pharaoh on their back. We too are in a situation that is impossible for us to resolve. And we too are wondering what's gonna happen and what will our salvation look like? During the Israelites crisis, God told Moses to stand firm and to raise his staff and to look for a miracle. And we're standing firm and we're raising our staff and we're anticipating God's miracle, no matter what that looks like. So we've been praying, we've been fasting and financially sacrificing in order to seek God's breakthrough. And I want to say a huge thank you to all of our prayer partners and donors who have joined us so far, all those inside and outside of Trinity. As we have articulated our need, the love and support has been pouring in. By God's grace, we have over 640,000 in our building fund. And that number represents the faithful and sacrificial giving of God's people throughout our history, but also uh, currently. A huge, huge thanks again to everyone who has participated. Now, even with all that giving, we still need an additional 615,000. It's a much bigger goal than we had anticipated, and you can learn more about the particulars by watching our urgent Zoom call that we recently did. And with that in mind, we're continuing to expand our army of radical givers. All gifts make a difference. So would you consider if God would have you participate? And if so, what level of giving speaks to you? We've broken down the giving amounts to show how many donors it would take to reach our goal. In moments like this, I like to ask myself, if everyone gave like me, how many people would it take to hit the target? So to be foundation layers, it would take 1,230 people giving $500 each. Actually, our current average gift is $737, so praise God for that. To be honorable allies, it would take 615 people giving $1,000 each. To be empowering partners would be 308 people giving $2,000 each. To be catalyst creators would be 123 people giving $5,000 each. To be impact makers would be uh, 62 people giving $10,000 each. We've actually had a number of those uh, already. And uh, to be visionary pioneers, it would take 25 people giving 25,000 each. And again, a few have taken that step. For legacy builders, it's 12 people giving 50,000 each. And for ludicrous saints, it would be six people giving $100,000 each. Now, most people will fall into the first four levels and less into the final four. Even though that's true, we're still trusting God for people to feel called to those final levels. And when considering a contribution, I like to ask myself if I can move one or two levels more. If I have or I intend to give to at a certain level, will I allow God to stretch my faith into the next level? Hebrews 13, 16 says, such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Now in terms of participating right this very second, 
The most helpful thing you could do is to get this video in front of more people. And there are three simple things that take mere seconds to do, but can uh, powerfully boost a video like this. It could honestly make all the difference for us, and it should be no surprise, but it's simply liking, subscribing, and commenting. But the catch is, you've got to do all three. And I know some of you especially hate commentating, or commenting, I should say. <laughs> uh, but let me say uh, this, that if you believe Chicago needs Jesus, then please like this video. And if you want to support the front lines of the battle, then subscribe and follow. And if you want to send us your encouragement, then please make a comment. If everyone thinks that others will do it, then no one will. But if you do it, it can inspire even more people to do the same. And if you're not sure what to comment, then why not go ahead and write a simple prayer in for us. We certainly need your prayers more than anything. Don't forget, God has obligated himself to listen to you. And he cares about your requests. And when you ask on our behalf, you are helping defeat spiritual forces uh, in Chicago. And you're helping to reinforce the front lines. Uh, so learn more about our building crisis. Uh, you can take an insider's look uh, by watching our Zoom call that we did. And you can check that out at tri.church slash urgent. And if you do feel led to give, thank you so much. And you can go to tri.church slash give and select building fund. And thanks so much for listening to this. I hope to be, you'll be blessed. And right now, this very second, please hit like, go ahead and subscribe and follow and definitely make a comment as well. Thanks everyone and be blessed.